Hi beautiful people, to those that are facing Hurricane Milton, please be safe, take all the precautions. I'm going to be speaking about Chopsy Rose and a recent pregnancy update, but also Nicholas Goldijohn. Let me start with Nicholas. I would like to make this disclaimer. Whoever does not like Nicholas Goldijohn, they do not feel compassion or sympathy for him and feels he is where he belongs. I respect your feelings. A comment was left asking me to please speak more about Nicholas Goldijohn. I am aware people are organizing a rally for Nicholas in hopes for him to get a fair trial. And I've never seen anyone who stands for Nick that is in support of Nicholas. They do not want him released. They want him to have a fair trial and get the help he needs and deserves. We would like for him to just get a fair trial. It is his right. I am aware that they planned on having a rally for him this month. Unfortunately, they have postponed it. An update was given on Sir Morbid's live, and I did reach out to Sir Morbid to ask him if I could use this clip. Unfortunately, he didn't get back to me before I made this video, so I'm hoping he doesn't mind by me using this clip. I will leave a link in the description box for this entire video. So let's listen to what they had to say. We collectively decided to postpone for a short time the rally. Given I work in disaster relief and given everything that's going on in North Carolina and the Cat 4 storm we've got coming towards Florida, the election, and we found out that the Special Olympics are in St. Louis the weekend of the rally, we felt that it was in Nick's best interest and, and the reasoning we're doing this rally for Nick to postpone a little bit so that he didn't get lost in everything else that's going on um, right now. And we just really feel that to give this rally the attention and the, the you know, bring it to what, how we'd like to to everybody, that it's just going to get lost in everything that's going on. And we just figure that it's it's best to postpone it for a short time until the date's a little better so that we can give it the attention it deserves. Okay, and here is, I think this is the screenshot, so the attention, so the details are here. I think, is this it's the not, correct information? Yes, yes it, it is. is. It's, <clears throat> it's not being called, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Um, no, we're just, we're going to be, um, setting a new date soon. We'll probably announce it sometime after the election, like soon after the election. Um, but we are going to have a, a rally and we are looking diligently for a, a rally coordinator and a journalist that can help cover this. Um, yeah, Jen. Yeah. So if this is Becca scoop, so if anyone out there, um, knows of anyone that's like in PR or, the, or does that kind of work, um, who should they contact? The email that we have set up, um, I believe that it's on the original flyer. We can get that for you. Okay, right it's there. Also on it's this right here on the right bottom here. It's on this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's ngpeacefulrally at gmail.com. ngpeacefulrally at gmail.com, correct? Yes. Right. Yes. So we and really right need, they really need somebody to help out with, like PR stuff, public, if anyone knows anything about public relations that's listening, or you know someone that could help, please email. Or if you just want to volunteer to help in, uh, in any way, please email. We, we would really appreciate that. If you can make it, thank you. Nicholas Goldijohn is a human being. He was manipulated and used by Gypsy Rose. So please do not diminish him or just feel that he needs to be thrown away. Absolutely not. He deserves a fair trial. And you know what will never ever leave me? As the post that Gypsy Rose made on the Facebook page between her and her mother. When her mother was deleted. And I quote, the bitch is dead. Doesn't that speak volumes about how Gypsy Rose really felt after the deed was done? But that's just what sticks with me. Like I said, if you can make it, thank you. And if you are against this, then oh well. So Gypsy made a post with an update about her pregnancy. And she made a video showing how the baby is kicking. Now, if you blink, you will miss it. So don't blink.
Did she really need to poke her belly and agitate the child so the child could move just to make a video to put on social media? I did notice on Gypsy Rose's TikTok, all comments are turned off. Yet on her Instagram page, to all her posts, those comments are still there. But when she made this post, there's a few comments that just got to me. The first one says, and what you're going to tell your kid when he or she, well, we know to she, asks, where is my grandmother? Gypsy Rose responds and says, I will explain when she is old enough and she will be surrounded by family to support us. Plus, she has a grandma. Grandma is Christy. In my opinion, that alone is going to fuck that child up because Christy, in my opinion, is not her grandma. And they seem to have things figured out. And if they plan on lying to this innocent child as she grows up, and when she does grow up and she finds the truth on her own along the way, that is going to be a problem for that child. But like I said, this is just my opinion. Gypsy was so eager to get pregnant. I do personally feel that was Gypsy's main goal when she got out of prison. She was going to be an influencer when she got out of prison. And she probably felt that it was the best way for her to be in the limelight and continue getting the attention that she only knew and she loved so much. And she also probably thought it would be easy and she wouldn't need to go get a nine to five. Because from what I see and from what I've observed about Gypsy, she is lazy as fuck. She lied when Ken came back into the picture and she still sat on a TikTok live and said that she was on the poll. Now you see, Gypsy thinks that everybody is a fool. And Ryan himself said in the docuseries that she sent him a positive pregnancy test. This is one fucked up situation. But at the end of the day, only time will tell. And that time is drawing closer and closer. Then this comment, as much as we all want a glimpse of the baby, I hope she keeps the baby off socials. Gypsy responds and says, once she is born, I already said I don't want her being posted on social media. Strictly out of protecting her from the negative people in this world. But Gypsy, you just as negative, but you still on social media. Now Gypsy has said from the get-go that she didn't want her baby on social media. I call bullshit. Gypsy has nothing else to offer her followers than this pregnancy now. What has Gypsy accomplished? What has she done to show people that she has grown? Or is this her way of showing growth by getting pregnant to prove to the public, her naysayers, her haters, her trolls, that she's not like her mother and that she will be a better mum than what her mum was to her? That would be totally fucked up. You guys can let me know what you feel Gypsy has accomplished. This comment says, haters will say this video isn't her video. Gypsy actually responds to this. And this for me speaks volumes as to Gypsy's mindset. She could have totally just read the message and just not responded to it. But she chose to respond and engage. And this is what she says. Girl, they will be saying that shit until I actually give birth. LOL. Now, for me, as I said, this tells me where Gypsy Rose's mindset is at. She's not worried about getting away from the drama. She's entertaining the drama. Gypsy is so focused on what other people think and say about her. When in actuality, it shouldn't even make a difference because she should have more important things to focus on than to worry about what other people are saying. But Gypsy hasn't grown. Gypsy hasn't done anything to improve on herself. This is the life she wants. This is the life she knows. Once again, you know no better, you do know better. And finally, this person says, You see, you trolls fucked it up for people who really want to see baby girl and with no ill thoughts of her. Sweetie Pie, 
I don't think anybody thinks or has any ill will towards this baby. Everybody has so much compassion and just wants the best for this baby. The only problem is the mother, in my opinion. But don't be disappointed because I do believe you will see the baby because this is Gypsy Rose we're talking about. The money, attention is more important than Gypsy Rose, in my opinion, than the well-being of that child. That's Gypsy's number one priority, attention, notoriety, being in the limelight. Do you really think Gypsy is going to fade away into the sunset and be this happy little family? I don't think that's going to happen. The question is, which tabloid will be the highest bidder to win for the first photo of Gypsy Rose's newborn? I could be wrong, and I hope I'm wrong. She's not going to let an opportunity like that go by. She was the one that was allegedly selling photos herself to the tabloids. So why is this going to be any different? This is what's going to keep, in Gypsy's mind, I believe, this is what's going to give her more notoriety. This is what's going to elevate her in, in a positive light to the public. She's going to do everything that she can to try con the public that she's not like her mother. She's going to be a better mom than her mom. She doesn't have the tools for that. She didn't learn anything because what she's demonstrating now all she demonstrates is what her mother taught her. She claims to be an influencer. She is going to continue to be on social media. So what is she going to do? Just not show the baby? Or is she going to just show every other part of the baby except the baby's face? Everything will be left to be seen. Gypsy had a plan from the time she got out of prison. She wanted to be an influencer. That was a plan. She wanted so desperately to get pregnant. People, family vloggers do so well, even with all the critics going after them. Gypsy has no soul. It has always been and will always and continue to be about Gypsy. The bitch is dead. Those words will never leave my mind. The way she carried on when she spoke about her mother being the perpetrator. She said people wanted the victim to be gone. But now that the perpetrator is gone, they're making her the villain. Not verbatim. She can't even show compassion or remorse to the woman that brought her into this world. And she felt she had the right to take that woman out let me know what you guys think thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this video i appreciate each and every one of you my thoughts and prayers are with those praising for hurricane Milton. i pray the lord covers that entire state and people are taking every precaution please be safe out there be kind to one another and please keep the Floridians in your thoughts and prayers. Till next time, bye guys.